Tonight, we're taking a closer look at new information from UC Health as they say they are overwhelmed by the number of migrants arriving in the metro area. UC Health estimates that over the past three months, they've had about 5,800 new migrant patients system wide. At UC Health Hospital in Aurora, they've treated an estimated 2,500 new patients from outside the country. Your reporter Alan Janae joins us from Aurora tonight. And Alan, leaders there tell you they are struggling to keep up. Well, good point, Michael. They do say that the increase here is about 80 percent over what it was a year before for that three month period, November to January. Even figuring out who is a migrant is difficult because they don't ask people directly. Some do volunteer. Others, they find out because they don't have Social Security numbers or insurance and they do volunteer that they're from another country. Among the crush of arrivals, the people coming into the metro area have brought children, burdens, and health problems. There's a lot of stress in that. These people are quite desperate. I, I think that is an understatement. At UC Health Hospital in Aurora, says CU's Chair of Emergency Medicine, the thousands arriving in the emergency department are overwhelming. We continue to add more and more resources. Uh, we continue to add more and more capacity, but there are limits. But right now, it's disproportionate uh, and it's unsustainable. Denver Health Medical Center recently said the same, adding it would be forced to turn away some patients. Do we have to set up a system we just don't have? Uh, there currently is not a system uh, to handle the numbers of migrants that are here in Colorado. At places like the Village Exchange Center in Aurora, migrants get things like vaccinations, but treatment is falling to the ERs, where there is a challenge simply to understand the issues. Because there are language barriers, there's cultural barriers, uh, there's not having any history. Uh, when a patient comes with a complex medical problem, we, there's no way to access anything about them. The hospital's costs of providing migrant care have nearly doubled. Unequivocally, period, we will not deny emergency care. Uh, but at some point, access is impeded for everyone. Dr. Zane does say that the migrants are thankful for the care they get. Now, who picks up the cost? Well, the margins are thinner for the hospitals and costs are shifted, much in the same way as costs are shifted to cover Americans who don't have health insurance. And I ask, what does he think the federal response should be? Dr. Zane wouldn't say, but he says there needs to be a response and soon. In Aurora, I'm Alan Janae covering Colorado First. All right, Alan, thank you.